time to talk. He's been wonderful time. This is our Excellency Kaine Kradu. With me today is, oh my goodness, a young, elegant, handsome young sportsman <laughs> in the house today. He's, um, he's a coach, he's athletic, of course, he's a young man, you know, and he keeps fit. He's very lively and always smiling. I met him, you know, during my workouts. I happened to be in one of his classes. And here today with me is Mr. John. You're welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's good to have you. Yeah. Can we know a little bit about you? You said, I'm John by name. Ubole John Olocha. I'm from Benue State. Yeah, I, I was born and brought up there. So after my school, I have to move to a city where I can do something good for myself. Wow. Just as she said, I'm a coach. I love sports so much. So I have to look for where I can go for what I like. So I. I have to move to this town, Abuja. So when I came to the town, I came to stay with my siblings at first, but after like a month plus, I have to move to my own apartment from there. I have to enroll in coaching school. Oh. Uh, I can't say fitness and physiotherapist. is at Cairo. Oh. So after training with them for like, a year plus, uh, the employment there was, I started working with them. I worked with them for like two years. Then from there, I, you know, I have to go to a higher place. From there, I went to apply at Rockview Hotel Classic. I worked in Rockview Hotel Classic for like two years plus. Then it was, I worked in, during that COVID-19 period. So after the break, I decided you know, I have to start something new. And I started doing my own personal training, going to gym, train one hour, personal training. I have a lot of personal, I have a lot of people I'm training in town here. So I also train federal road safety staff every Saturday at National Stadium. Wow. That is where I, that is where I met her. Uh, so it's nice wow. being in the show. Yeah, I want to know a little bit. Okay. How did you get into the sport? How, what? What drew you into sports? What's your passion? Why? Yeah, yeah I, at first I never had it in mind of being a coach. It's just I like football so much. So oh, when I came into town, that is the team I was training before with, I was training with Post Mission. So that is a coach that normally comes to take us on our fitness. So the way I put passion in it, so he said, ah, this thing you are doing you will be good in coaching. So he just said, okay now. Can come. Let's start from somewhere. So I have to report to the police. So I, at first, it was very. <laughs> it's not. It was, it was very tough. It's not easy, you know, for the first time. So after for like a month, um, my body started adapting to the system. Then from there, so I see myself doing aerobics, taking dance class, the weight loss, different session of aerobics. So from there, I said, okay, maybe this what since I'm into sport already, so let me just put my whole mind from there. I have to apply all those online courses from there. I started developing on myself. Mm -hmm. So now I can work in anywhere as a coach. Wow. Mm -hmm. You see weight loss and aerobics. So you can actually take someone on a weight loss journey. Yeah, I, weight loss is actually my area of concentration. Okay. That is where I, be, I love that aspect so much because it's my major concern of going to his fitness, this field. You know, at times there are some people going to gym, they don't really know why they are there. Mm. So I just have to go deep into it. Mm. That's not with my 60 days program, can achieve your goal. It's all about determination. That's what I normally tell people who in this, my money class this morning, I was advising them, telling them, motivating them. That is not easy. That's why they have to push yourself. You understand? So. You mean you have 
every day? Mm, not every day. I don't work Mondays. Monday is my rest day. Sunday, Monday is my resting day. I okay. understand. Tuesday, I go to a fitness and physiotherapist to take them on weight loss or aerobic, depending on their program that day. Okay. Wednesdays, I don't maybe, I normally have like two, three people to train personal in that chief fit. Okay. And my Thursday, still that chief fit. Generally, that one, I work with them every Thursday. Friday, still my own personal, this thing. Then Saturdays, you go for. Another go for wow. National Stadium to train Federal City, then Sunday service. Wow. Yeah. So what time do you really have for yourself? Mm, like, I'm always, I always have time for myself every day because if I go to the gym, I guess if I should go to the gym around 7, I'll stay in the gym till around 11, 12. From 11, to, from 12 down. Is it p.m. or a.m.? p.m. Like late in the night? No. Like okay, 12, noon. noon. Okay. Okay. Uh, 12, in the, 12, in, 12 noon. 12 noon. Yeah. From there, I can I have all the time to myself. I can go to my house, freshen up, and rest, work on myself. So, wow. I'm always free from 12 noon. Wow. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hello, Hello. Hello. It's time to talk. Welcome back. I've been chatting with Mr. John, a young man that has passion for sports. He has passion and he has developed himself so much that. You know, he's busy and he's occupied. And what he does is actually aerobics, weight loss programs, and he's busy, he's engaged right now. So a little bit of what you do. Now that you're busy Monday, Tuesday, and then sometimes you're off, like you have some time for yourself and all that, what kind of food will you advise for people to eat, so just for instance, people that are trying to lose weight? Um, you know, um, what I normally advise people, you know, in Africa, most of our food is made up of carbs, carbohydrates, mainly it's carbohydrates that normally make exactly. us to be fat. Or just, so uh, you cannot tell African or black man that don't eat carbohydrates, the best you look as if you are joking, just that I normally advise people, understand, mm. that even though you're eating carbs, any of those things, you eat less of it. Okay. So I eat less of it, I eat more of proteins, oh, okay. so I eat more of veggies and those things. So I normally place people on diet plan whenever you are going for weight loss, at least to guide you. Even though you don't fully eat fully, at least it will guide you mm -hmm. through that period you are doing your weight loss program. So mm -hmm. Because some diets even make someone to feel sick, to death, the person could not be able to, to work out. So I'm always, I know when I started training you, I was started studying your strength level, what you can be able to do, what kind of so yeah. before I started giving you because I don't have a specific different of diet plan I normally give people. Mm -hmm. Instead, because of we have different body size and the sister likewise our systems are different. So I normally give people different meal plan based on your some people have head challenge. Mm -hmm. So you normally like those that have also pressure, so you cannot tell them not to eat. So they, they have to eat just that. You guide them on what to eat and how to eat it. Mm. So, so that is how I normally. Oh, that makes sense. <coughs> yeah. What What do you like? You're very young. Yeah. I don't know how old you are, but I know you're not up to thirty. Mm -hmm. I know you're very young. It's in your eyes. Mm -hmm. So, what can you advise our youth today, young boys, young girls? You know, sometimes maybe some of them have excuses for not doing something. Mm -hmm. What can you say to them? Yeah. Let me say, uh, even during that pandemic period, during the lockdown set period, I, I always think of what to do. Yeah. Because if I don't work, definitely I can't pay my bills. Mm. So I always think of what to do. I have a lot of siblings that look up to me. So even though I don't feel like going out, I have to go out. Mm. That's not because of the siblings and also for my future. No, there is no food for I just as a general saying. So every day, mm. as a young guy, as a young lady, it's not good for you to be a liability. It's good for you to do something at, than not to do anything at all. Mm. Understand? Because, uh, for instance, you are in town. Maybe your mom or your dad is in the village. Understand? They'll be expecting something from you. Mm. And they will call you today, call you tomorrow. They'll be giving an excuse. They will be expecting something from you. If you are not working, how will you get it? So that's why I find most of our youth not doing one dirty business or the other, which is not helpful. You have hands, you have legs, you have, in fact, your full bodies are complete. You don't have any excuse. 
at least you can go out there look for something to do no matter how little it is mm -hmm. but at least at the end of the month the end of the day you have something to take home so you have to start from somewhere we are still starting up no that's not as if we are there we are still starting up because we also everybody as a guy as a lady as in fact as a woman base you need a go without a go you can't go forward as i always advise with my younger ones at home as i'm going now you need to look for something doing if you want hand work go and learn if you want to work, talk to me. I will look for how you start going. But you need to go out and look for something doing. It's like this period that a lot of schools are on strike now. Instead of you staying at home, go and learn something. Because it's what you have that you can offer. Exactly. You can't offer what you don't have. You don't have. Yeah. So it's good for you to always go out to do something that will help you. So that you help yourself and your family. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's so nice. Yeah, it's been wonderful hanging out with you today. Want to know a little bit about your relationship? We're going to come back to that. So thank you. Yeah, it's been fun. And just listening to a young man talking, you know, because it gives me joy when I see young people actually doing something, not crime, but something healthy, something that will benefit their lives and they can be able to encourage other people. So till we come your way again, thank you. Bye for now. It's time to talk.